It's Thursday. Going to solve that Thursday puzzle. Here we go. Looking forward to this one. Thursday's always got some sort of a trick, some sort of a, a special, special thing going on. I don't know. Uh, let's find out what it is for this one, shall we? The uh, constructor's name is Simeon Siegel. The solver's name is Steve. That's me. This is Solve with Steve. So I'm Steve, and I'm solving. Did you solve this one? Yeah. Is it a good one? I hope it is. Is it a fair one? I bet it is. All right. Let's solve this puzzle. Ooh, interesting square there. You don't usually see, I don't know, it looks like fun. Okay, separation, how about a gap? Historic caravel, I don't know what that means. Star of a fall garden. Aster means star, and it's a, it's a flower. Attire for a fighter pilot is a gas mask, I don't know. Counterpart to a, oh, counterpart to a receiver legally is, uh, I don't know. Uh, carry zero weight idiomatically, matter not, um, I don't know. Link with, I don't know. Things, tube tops, Lack our sleeves, our shoulders, our uh, necklines. It's uh, it's like from here down. I don't know. Uh, Book of the New Testament could be many things. All right, whip through. Say I don't know. Star Wars boy. How about Annie? Anakin. Uh, Coco Gauff is the pen tennis star. Uh, Utopia novel whose title is an anagram of nowhere is Erewhon. Right? Isn't that the thing? Um, all right, I think that's right. A bit of solar wind is an ion. Science! Feel me? You know. How about like that? You know. Uh, ones with clay pigeons in their sights. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, a pride of lions and a parliament of owls. That's right. Um, especially mean. Low, low down, dirty. Thing. Midnight cowboy roll with Rizzo. Hmm. Ratso. That's the guy's name, right? Uh, ones with clay pigeons are hoot owls, but we have the owls here. So maybe it's not hoot owls. Maybe it's skeet shooters. Um, oh, is this some sort of a, this is going to be like skeet or something like that. Uh, maybe it's something like that. Okay. Lift up a mountain could be a tea bar at a ski, ski resort. Walt, uh, oh, 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 it's like Ez, Ez, not Esner. Um, I, I, I've heard it. Okay, Walt Disney. Rickety piano and old music big biz slang. Don't know. Is it tin something? I don't know. Complete fools. Again with the... Okay, we'll find out what's down there. Certain bowling alley. The reset button at the bowling alley. ID since the Great Depression or Social Security numbers. Page detached from a magazine. I don't... Oh, the tear out. So maybe this is not... Uh, maybe this is not uh, skeet shooters. Um, I don't know. Feels like it could be. Uh, high traffic hospital will be ERs or maybe ORs. Rickety piano. Is it a tin can? It's a, it's a submarine. I don't know. Complete fools are our asses. Uh, music publishing. E EMI is a music publisher. Light of day is the sun. Complete fools are amuses. Language in which crossword puzzle is Krukvort Enigma. Is that Esperanto? Tin pan. Oh, like Tin Pan Alley. Uh, Esperanto is the is the language. Uh, the the human developed language, not naturally like evolved, but people said, let's make a language. Uh, annual DC address uh, is the State of the Union. Really, since 1913, I thought it was uh, in the Constitution. I don't know. Echoes, I don't know. Wincing, pained. How about that? What did I just type? Okay. Melancholy, the blues. No, the blahs. How about that? Aztecs are San Diego State University. A tear sheet. Is that right? So maybe it is. Uh, something about ski shooters. Uh, Elias, Walter Elias, Disney? I don't know. Is this Pirates? Echoes. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Jacques. I don't know. Celebrity chef named Jacques. Um, did half of a biathlon skied, and then shooting is the other one. Skeet shooting. Hmm. Um, connector between false alternatives. Nor this, nor that. Neither this, nor that. Word before stamp or... A, Rubber stamp, no, but not rubber young. Made up, I don't know. Da Ali G show, right? Uh, some spirits, I don't know. Locomotive quaintly is the iron horse. Oh, yes. Horse. Uh, one who's meditating might be in this, I don't know. Quite a distance, afar. Word before stamp. Oh, forever stamp and forever young. I want to be forever young. Made up, uh, I don't know. Unpleasant encounter is a run in. Uh, hoe down. I don't know. Uh, event involving floating. Uh, I don't know. UFO is not floating. Uh, frozen treat. I don't know. Gelato doesn't fit. Climate change, gun regulation. Those are issues in the news today. Becoming. I don't know. Goddess of healing and magic. Is it like ISIS? 
Could be. She's a goddess, right? Egyptian uh, one who's meditating. One be in, might be in this, the lotus pose. Ah, so it's, it's, a, it's a yoga uh, clue. There we go. Becoming, uh, I don't know, frozen treat sorbet. Mm. Mooch is to bum. Can I bum a smoke or whatever? Uh, undulating summer is an eel. Becoming is seemly. Spaced out is itsy. No, I don't know. Ho down is a shindig. Venn diagram. Some spirits are genii. Uh, the plural of genie, right? Okay, some spirit. Wait. Made up is atoned. Yes, okay. Spaced out. Oh, ditzy. Like, oh my god, I'm so spacey. Okay. Ballroom dance move is a dip. Uh, some drafts are IPAs. Uh, Seinfeld's car. I don't know what he drove. Uh, an offshore competition. So, no. Oh, off yeah, competition. Oh, regatta. Uh, a sailing race. All right, uh, yeah. Uh, one time presidential nickname. How about Abe? Okay, get some rest. Or what to do at the end of the previous clue, previous answer to solve each. What? Okay. So, skeet shooters, right? Or sharpshooters. Harps. Get some rest. I don't know. Closing parts. I don't know. Uh, did he drive a sob? Maybe he drove a sob. Get some rest. Take a nap. Take a nap. Oh, they all have nap in them. We need to take that away. Okay, where IBM is IBM um, and New York Stock Exchange. Okay. Um, so it's not take a nap. <laughs> uh, outrage. I don't know. Fake. I don't know. Tree whose first four letters are an anagram of another tree. Ah, I'm not playing that game right now. Um, okay, the presidential nickname is Ike uh, Crossing Abe. Ah, how do you like that? Two presidential nicknames. Okay, closing parts are the tail ends. There we go. One way to watch a movie is in HD, is at home, is out. I don't know. Name think of Ithaca's C is Ionia, maybe? It's on the Ionian Sea, I think. Uh, taboo in one of the Ten Commandments. Could be a bunch of things. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not uh, lie. Thou shalt not steal. Let's go with steal. Um, bit. I don't know. Take aid. Take. Take five. Do you take five? Taboo. So the taboo would be theft. Okay. Uh, a bit is a tad. Oh, on DVD is how you watch a movie. Fake is phony. Tree whose first four letters is maple. Oh, and palm tree. That's kind of cool, actually. Outrage is indignation. Oh, we take five. We take five letters. Ah, ha, ha. Good one. It's usually blue. Denim, yes. Okay, take the A train. No, take the rub. Take the, I don't know. Um, echoes is reverberates. Ah, good one. Jacques, is it Pevin? Pelin? Pelin? I don't know. Blacklist is to ban. Take the rap and Jacques Pepin okay this is uh, a thing tube tops lack uh, oh it's trap shooters and they don't have straps and then we got trap shooter ah tra I like that one um, was it was there one more here no that was, oh yeah this one right here complete fools are ignoramuses so this is ignore a uh, counterpart to a receiver is an assigner okay attire for the as a G suit Yes, that's what it is. G suit. Historic caravel. I still don't know what that means. Cloyingly sentimental is goopy, gaspy, gloppy. I don't know. Carry zero zero weight idiomatically is I don't know. Link with is tie to. Uh, let's see. Book of the New Testament is Acts. Acts of the Apostles, right? Uh, it's cut no ice. Uh, oh, Pinta. Oh, it's a type of ship like the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Uh, cut no ice. And yeah. Okay. Some things I didn't know. Uh, but first, the theme. Uh, so we have the, 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 the revealer here is take five. And all the theme items are, are indicated because they're not super long. Maybe that's why it, uh, it didn't look quite right. Because there's no super long entries. And usually there are. Those are the themers. Uh, or it's a themeless, and usually like Friday and Saturday, they also have some long items. So this doesn't have any long. Maybe that's, I noticed it didn't look quite like a normal crossword grid, but maybe that's why the largest ones are, are eight letters, right? Okay. Anyhow, um, so they decided to show us the, uh, the themers with the asterisk and the clue, and with the blue um, 
or yellow uh, uh, highlighting of the cells, of the squares. Okay, so get some rest. Take five. Uh, take a break. Yes, take five minutes. Or what to do at the end of the previous answer to solve each starred clue. So that's the, 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 uh, the instruction. So we look at the previous answer. And we take five letters from the end. So indignation is outrage. And reverberates is, is uh, echoes. And trap shooters are ones with clay pigeons in their sights. Yep. And ignoramuses, that's, this is pretty impressive. They had to come up with long words whose first five letters are the end of a word that fits. And the remainder is also a word because amusers and hooters and, uh, and uh, berates and nation are all words in and of themselves. There's no clue for those words, but they're still words. So that's pretty impressive. Simeon Siegel, well done. That's, uh, I think that's quite a feat. Uh, I don't know, maybe with uh, proper coding of, of word lists and uh, some sort of a script you can run on that. Maybe that's easy to do with a, with a computer. I don't know. I'm impressed. Um, so what did I learn here? Apparently a caravel, I'm going to look this up, uh, is a type of a ship. Um, I thought they were schooners, but maybe not. So what's a caravel? Not caravel, that's a brand of ice cream. Cara de la Vigne, Cara screenshot de laptop, caravan, caravel. Yes, is the top, the top caravel. Uh, a light sailing ship of the 15th, 16th centuries in Europe, much used by the Spanish and the Portuguese. That would be uh, Christopher Columbus. Um, right, sailed for Spain in 1492, which is the 15th century. So, okay. Small. I thought they were large ships that they took, but apparently they're small. Okay. Let's see. What else we got here? Uh, as, I, as I stifle a yawn. Uh, cut, no ice, and goopy. I've not heard either of those phrases. Uh, I'm going to look up cut, no ice. Uh, cut, no. Cut, nose off. Cut, no ice. There it is. The number four, cut, no. Um, according to Merriam-Webster, the meaning is to not have importance to someone. Yeah. For example, his opinion cuts no ice with me. I've never heard that. Recent examples on the web, Washington Post and Guy Lodge and Variety is cut no ice with our protagonist. Okay. Okay, that was an honest John. I didn't uh, I didn't stifle it. I covered it because that's the polite thing to do. But I'll be honest, I yes, I got it. That's okay. I still have a couple more of these. Uh, I know it's getting long. Goopy. Oh, like if it's filled with goop, it's so, oh, it's so sweet. It's sickening, sickeningly sweet, sentimental, so it's goopy. All right, I guess I buy that one. Um, I like Hooters being right here by owls because owls say hoot. Um, Arrowhorn, I've heard of that. I thought it was nowhere backwards. It's almost nowhere backwards, right? The WH uh, make it more seem like a, a word, but okay. Hmm. Okay, I think that's it. Was there anything else that was totally new? Uh, I did not know Walt Disney's middle name was Will. I was thinking of something else, but no. I, I believe that it is. Oh, this this person, Jacques Pepin. I, have, I don't think I've seen you ever, but let's see who you are, Jacques. You are the number two Jacques in the search engine. Well done, Jacques Pepin. Um, born 1935, French-born American. Chef, author, culinary educator, television personality, and author. Personal chef of Charles de Gaulle. Wow, that's impressive. Well, you've done quite well for yourself. $20 million net worth. Very, very impressive. First recipient of the Julia Child Award. Why do I not know you? You, uh, yeah. Jacques Pepin's Kitchen. Cooking with Claudine. Cooking Techniques. Today's Gourmet. All right. Oh, his wife died in 2020. People get changed. Esteemed French chef. No, you don't look familiar to me. Because you're on KQED and not like Food Network. Uh, and I'm guessing you're on all the PBS shows, but I never really watched PBS cooking shows. So that would explain why I don't know you. Uh, and you've had recipes in the New York Times. And okay. Famous chef. Oh, he's on the former guest judge on Top Chef. Uh, we usually watch Chopped rather than Top Chef. So that makes sense. Okay. Uh, was there anything else? The Lotus Pose 
is a yoga position, yoga asana, right? Uh, locomotive, the iron horse, yes. Genii, the plural of genius, or the plural of genie. Um, it looks like it's a plural of genius, but some spirits would imply that it's genies. So I'm going to look that one up, genii. Apparently, genii is a magazine. The genii, the conjurer's magazine, devoted to magic and magicians. Wow, okay. Um... Genii protect individuals and places. Springs Hill cities and army barracks all had a genius low size. So, oh, it's not genie. It's wait, plural of both genie and genius. But from the looks of it, genius didn't mean like smart person. Genius meant something else in in Roman mythology. Genii Wikipedia. Okay, supernatural creatures in pre-Islamic Arabian. So that would be genie. Um. That's all. What about genius? That that uh, that Latin one, genius. Huh. Let's go to dictionary.com. What do we got here? Genii, genii, genii. It was the word of the day. Ah, come on, scroll. No quiddity, huh? No pressure. Take the synonym of the day quiz. Wait, can we get to the article on GDI? Here we go. GDI protect individuals. The Daily Beast. The Romans transferred many of the functions of GDI to angels. As the bird must fly north in springtime, so must I drink the hemp, hemp smoke when the GDI bid or die. Hemp smoke? Is that, uh, I don't know. Sounds a little bit uh, suspicious. The plural of genius, definition five, and genius, definition six. What are genius definitions five and six in the British dictionary at dictionary.com? Genius one and two, exceptional national capacity. Okay, so that's, that's the familiar meaning of genius. Wait. Census five and six. This just has senses one and two. Oh, see more. I skipped the see more. See more. Okay. So one, two, three, and four, I think are all like, okay, you're smart. But number five, the distinctive character or spirit as of a nation, period, or language, the guardian spirit of a place, institution, etc. Either of two mutually opposed spirits, one good and one evil, supposed to attend a person throughout life. Is that like in cartoons, they'd have like the angel and the devil sitting on your shoulders? Are those the genii? Wow. Okay. I think uh, now I've really learned something for today. And I think that means it's time to say farewell to you, the viewer. So thank you for being the viewer. I wouldn't be much of a YouTuber without an audience. I mean, I could still post videos, but it would just really get demoralizing. So you're out there watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you would be so kind, if you have enjoyed this video, please like that video. Click on it. And even better, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click subscribe. Or you can click on the Steve head right there. Uh, and you will be able to, to subscribe directly to this channel. And when you do that, I will be even happier. Um, but you shouldn't do it for me. You should do it for you because then you get the notifications then uh, you're a part of this whole thing, and that's what we like. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will do more of these because I'm having fun. Farewell. I'll see you.